yellow. Nah. We over? Yeah, how much? How much we over by? Pounds overweight. We're gonna have to cut off a leg. Pounds overweight. Oh, baby. Yeah, it is. Time for the scales. Take 
I want everybody over there and just unload the truck and bring it up to the trailer. Okay? Well, you guys come on over because I'm going to keep an eye on everything. Keys. Keys, keys, keys. Yeah. I got another foot and a half yet. Just gotta put the tape on. Yeah. I wanna know if I'm right or wrong. I know. I'm gonna get it easier. It's a pain in the ass yeah. board. It's up underneath and around the corner. And... What year is it? 84. I don't know. They do. They do. Because I tried to buy parts for it to figure out what went back on there and that's what it came with. Hey, to me, a carburetor is a carburetor. What, uh, the 460? Yep. What year, 84? Yep. Go to the street modified class. What has to stay on? Can I disconnect the? You can do anything you want. Maybe. All it's got to do is just have an inspection stick on. Okay. Less than 500 cubic inches. It's got to have uh, a speed legal exhaust hanging under it. It doesn't have to be hooked up. And it could have headers on it for that class also, right? Yep. But it can't. You couldn't run it in this class. Right. It used to be able to years ago. Rev limiter crank the back up again. Money and the motors are concerned, find a replacement block. That's, That's the right. cheapest way to go is an old part. Well, maybe in a block, but the, all the parts, performance parts, are, are high. <clears throat> really? You start to go on performance parts, it gets real expensive. We went that way just because the, the, the crew of people that we have helping us build the motor and whatnot, they're all Mopar fans. Oh, really? And they've run Mopars for years, so, so we stayed with that. I think it's just an off, off breed, too, that's got color to it. You know, where do you dodge. dodge here? That's what I mean. Look, we started with an old 53 and a 53 power wagon. Junkyard motor in it and just uh, kept on going. Let's see, he wanted me to do it. That truck, I, I, I just that was a truck that, uh, you know, good junkyard motor and a. Oh, yeah. That there was a good. The that old, was good the old, old yellow truck. one. Yeah. yeah. That was oh, that's a good pulling old truck. A good stone boat truck. It, uh, it did pretty decent on the transfer sled until. Until the engine started getting bigger. When the engine started getting bigger, he started to fall back. Could have fifth last year in the club. Gotta have it on film, he release an air, right? Yep, yep. What are we doing now, Corey? 20? Yeah. On our first pull, we're gonna run 20 pounds tire pressure to see how it bites to the track. There. And what if it doesn't bite? We'll have you bite. Thank you. <laughs> Bob Boudreau, please come to the announcer's table. Bob Boudreau. Uh, 58 two wheel? Yep. 58 two wheel, uh, street mod. 6,000. 6,000 street mod, 6,200 four wheel drive, and then the 6,200 two wheel. Okay, we went around, we checked all the weights and hitches and tire offsets. What we're going to do now is when the uh, street mod trucks come up over, we're going to check it for hoops. Hoops? Hoops. Hoops, hoops. Whatever you want to call them. Whoops. One for drive shaft. Whoopsie doops. Whoops. We're also supposed to have a kill switch. I'm going to let everybody pull today, so the next time you come back, have a monitor, you're not going out on the track. Okay? Anything else, Rich? Both being lined up over here, they're not aligned. You know what their number is, just get in line. So that things will go quick. Will we come right around the back? No, I don't think there's enough room to swing the trucks around. Just right here. Probably put two or three out here. Get two or three ahead. If you're not in line, you go to the back of the pack. Everybody also remember to wear your helmets. The head shoes. Gotta have them. What's going to happen? Yeah, 
wait. It's going to warm off of there. Off the drive shaft. Off the drive shaft on that chain into that transmission. So you can't change the differential? You can if you want to. Okay. okay. Yep. That, that goes into that rear end. Yep. All right. This is a like a clutch. Both of these are going to be in there like that. Already? Now you're sitting there. All right, the, sweat, the box is back there. You take off down the track, the weight starts coming up. When it gets all the way up, it's going to hit that lever. Yep. This lever here is going to do that. Like that. What that's doing is releasing the brake on that side. Because what will happen if you, if you let that brake slip, it'll get hot and the sled won't work. All right, so when that happens, this kind of goes like this. This guy back here is going to grab both these levers and pull it to him. And what he's doing is locking the weight up there. So it won't come back down. So it won't come back down. So when the sled's going down the track and the weight box hits all the way up there, you're going to see the guy back here pulling levers. That's all he's doing is locking that thing up. The only thing he can do back here is lock it up early. And that's not going to hurt you. Yep, so it's not going to too short. It's going to make the box stop earlier and you're going to go further. Um, when this thing starts then, when you start pulling this, that's exactly the same spot on the track here for everybody? Yeah. Line right up to your own. With the front lift. 